What are we doing? We are sprucing up the apartment for another year renewal. So we might paint, we might rearrange furniture, we got a new couch, we got a new rug. Um, but for this video, we're yeah, going to- let's stick to the topic at hand. This video, we're going to paint the entryway foyer. Um, a funky color. That funky. We're unsure of, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So we decided to renew our apartment lease and so we're sprucing it up a bit like Jeff said, but I saw this video on TikTok and I fell in love with this way, the way this guy painted his bathroom. And so I've convinced Jeff to let me, or let us paint the entryway this color. It's gonna be a surprise because we gotta go to the paint store and get the sample and stuff. But yeah, we're sprucing up and we're gonna paint today. What's that place called? Genovic? Genovic. Genovic. Paints. Genovic paints. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> okay, are you nervous about the pink? Like, what are your hesitations? Or are you gonna be looking for different colors? No, I don't think so. I was nervous when you first showed me, but I think it's fun and like it's a small room and if there was a time to try something new and be fun, that's the room to do it in. And now's the time. Now's the time, no day but today. This is my least favorite color of all time. That's like a classic teenager's bedroom. This is nice. Color of the year is raspberry blush. We're doing raspberry parfait. I think these might be too red. Today I'm using, I need to get one of these because we don't have. But look, the five piece paint kit is $21.49. The seven piece is $19.99. What's the T? I don't know. Whatever, get that one. Cheaper and better bang for your buck. Two more pieces. That looks so nice. Raspberry parfait. This is the ceiling color. What is that one called again? Rose bouquet? Bouquet rose. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're back home. We're back. Okay. So we got all of our stuff. We first need to, the first step I think should be, we need to like dust the walls to make sure they're clean and nice and then we'll do a little sample and then if we like it, we'll tape and paint the whole thing. We're not gonna be able to paint the ceiling today because we do not have a ladder tall enough and we do not have an extending pole long enough. So let's get started. Got my duster to dust the walls per Taylor's instruction. Here I go, Cinderella. I mean, do something, jeez. The smallest part of the wall. Come on, Jeff. Am I doing this right? I, you, honestly, I'm surprised you even know, I'm surprised you even knew where that was. Here's the wet sample. It looks a lot more like saturated in the camera, but it's like a really nice earthy pink. Right? It's so sexy. It's so like, sexy. It's um the kind of pink it looks in the camera. It's though. humbly chic. You know what I mean? Like it's very humble, but it's chic. As hell. Alright. Second color. Wow. Nice Very pretty. Which which one goes on the walls? Which one goes on the ceiling? I think the darker one on the wall. I agree. I think it's just like nice, and that pink will go up there. All right. All right. Let's let these dry and. All right, 
so far, we're obsessed. We already ran out of the sample, so we need to go back and get a gallon so we can continue. But we're feeling good, right? Yeah, I'm tin foiling our brushes. It looks so, it's gonna look so much better when it's finished, but it looks good already. All right, we made it back from the paint store where we got a whole gallon instead of just a sample. Um, we, also, we also learned that the sample is not the same as the other thing, so what we painted just now, we'll have to paint over, I think. Which is no problem. No problem. We can do it. We also got painter's tape uh, to put on the floor in case we're painting. we spill. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna do it right now, right? We're doing it right now. Let's go. Oh wait, do you need to dust first? I already did. Um, that was a joke. But... So we're painting the baseboards too for that like full monochromatic look. Monochromatica. The chromatica ball. Also, I know when they paint this, like when we move out, they're just gonna do the landlord special and just like slap white paint everywhere. Totally. So I really like it. Jeff is gonna. I'm do gonna the... test the new color up there. The other color, I should say. Let's see how it looks. I'm nervous. <sighs> what? From where I'm standing, on the camera I can tell the difference, but from where I'm standing, it looks the same. Really? But like, it looks good. I'm glad, because I like this. It's the next morning in our we have bad news. mess of an apartment. We don't like it anymore. We hate it. Last night before we were going to bed, we looked at each other and said, wow, it looks horrible. Like I had so many moments where I was like, it looks like a hometown, not authentic Mexican restaurant. It looks like an 80s grandma's bathroom. Like we tried. We try to do something cool. The thing is, it's a beautiful color and it's really amazing and it looks great, but not for this tiny room. It's a high traffic oh. room okay. and it just, it's not right for that space. Yeah, Jeff made a good point. We think it's because, uh, we think it's just like too high traffic of an area to have that bold, but also it's just like, these walls have been painted a million times, so there's a lot of texture. It just does not look good. So we just went and picked up some primer and some white paint, and we're gonna spend the whole day painting it back white. And then maybe we'll do a green accent wall. With that, we have a little bit of extra green from that wall. Maybe we'll do that. Should've just, should've just stuck with what we knew. I want this apartment back in shape. Yeah, so round two. Okay, 
Okay, so we just finished the primer, which they tinted with gray because the color had red undertones or like was red, I guess. We got that up pretty nice and quickly. Now we're letting that dry before we go in and paint it white. But I, I don't know if it's like because we worked really hard on it yesterday and at points we thought we liked it, but the realization of not liking it and thinking it's ugly is so embarrassing. Like I am anxious about the paint color because it was such a flop, which is weird. I've never felt like that. Jeff keeps saying, I've never seen you like this. Yeah, okay, so then we also have a little bit of paint left, or actually like a half a gallon of green paint left from our green wall in here that we're like, maybe we'll do an accent wall in there but I don't know, I almost can't bring myself to risk it. All right, time to actually do the real paint now. done Are we? returning it back to white uh, we had to do a coat of primer and two coats of the white don't paint your room pink <sighs> we're both like really tired maybe we need to eat something yeah. um, I don't know it is what it is yeah. we got to spend time together right honey <sighs> okay I think I finished with the white. Let's see. Looks white to me. <laughs> God, this has been <laughs> crazy. Okay, so I think we're gonna paint this wall green. So now that I'm done with all this, I'm gonna tape this up. And then we're gonna paint that green and I'm never touching paint again at least not for a while. Should have just gone with green in the first place. better. Maybe basic, but we'll take it. Yeah? Yeah. four different colors in 20 hours. If these walls could talk. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm happy it's over. I'm done painting for a while. That's what I said. Um, I'm ready to just do anything else. Here we go. Final reveal of the paint, at least. We're gonna decorate this room, which you'll have to watch in next week's video, because we are done today. Thank God. Talk about a twist and turn. That was not the 48 hours we had envisioned, but thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video. And we will not be using pink paint anytime soon. Bye. Bye.